Well, on the way home is the Spitfire and Hurricane Memorial Museum, and we couldn't go past it. Gary had to go in. So, outside, we've got a few um, bits and pieces of memorabilia. Not sure if they'll let me film inside, but I'm going to try. Um, it's free admission, and over there, at that place, over there, it's the RAF Manston's Visitors Centre, and there's a doodle bug. I'm not sure if you can see it, it looks a long way away, although it's not. It's there, there's the doodle bug. So uh, that's just opposite. There's a cafe as well. We've been here before. We're gonna, oh look, what is he doing? <laughs> Trust Gary, riding on a bomb. So who's this? Airman. Uh, it's just, just a little poem there, but I can't read it because it's too um, degraded. That's the word. But uh, welcome to the memorial. Trust your visit. Thank you for your support. So, it doesn't say I can't film, but we'll have to see when we get inside. So I'm going to pause it for a moment and hopefully I'll be okay. Wow, look at that. Here we are. So we've got like a, oh yeah, simulator. I think I went in that before and tried to land the plane. Um, but it's a sunny little museum with some artifacts and models and paintings. Airman's uniform. It's all pretty dark though. There you have it. Oh, hang on. Got my sunglasses on. Not as dark as I thought. Okay, normally they're dark so that things don't degrade. But yeah, I've got lots of uh, stuff in here. Gary's in his element. Look at the size of that lens. Wow. Connaissance plane, perhaps? Don't know for sure. But you get to see the engine. Look at that. Gary loves a Spitfire, but he's really a sucker for hurricanes. He does love planes, warplanes, hurricanes and Spitfires, especially anything to do with the military and uniforms and memorabilia. And he's in his element then. So we've been here before, but we wanted to come back as it was just around the corner and on our way home. Um, I don't know what that is. Probably holds the propeller, I would say. Oh, look, there's Winston Churchill. Look the statue. It's very hard to get actually on the simulator. There's always people on it. Wants to have a go. You do have a little person helping you, telling you what to do. Wonder if Gary will get to have a go. You might be able to fly the Spitfire today. You know, and do the simulated landing. Uh, here, here we go. Let's have a little look. Yeah, because when I first looked at it, I Gary will be in his element with the hurricane. bunk. Look at that little dinghy. Just big enough for one person. Guns. Messerschmitt's armaments. Wow. Gary will spend a while in here though. So uh, longer than I will film. Hello, guy. Propellers. Oh, just blades. So look inside. So this is the Supermarine Spitfire cockpit and controls. 
We went to RAF Duxford for the uh, the Britain Memorial Day. We saw inside the Concorde, and oh my God, I've never seen so many controls in my entire life. How they flew that and knew what the buttons and dials and things were for. It was just as far everywhere you looked, as far as the eye could see. My round. So that one's a hurricane, I believe. And that's how many kills they've had. Operation Justice, the dams raid, dam busters. Testing upkeep from Manston. Lots of history in Manston. Um, that's between kind of Margate and Ramsgate. That's all the ox. <laughs> Firkin number two. Lots of humour in war. It's that black humour again. Britain's air offensive. RAF attacks on Germany. Wow. Those boots were amazingly well preserved. Probably better than my boots, to be honest with you. Yeah, you can have a look. Very snug. Couldn't eat too many pies and fly this baby at all. Anyway, how cool is this? I hope Gary gets to have a go at landing and flying the Spitfire. That would be fun. But there's always a queue, always a queue. Even when there's hardly anyone here. You never know, you might get the chance. Right, mate. It's a bookie's kit. For the longest time, my dad kept his little kit. Um, he had this little, um, well, ooh, he had a little sewing kit that was called a housewife. Somebody's missus, some sweetheart? Or maybe not. The Women's Auxiliary Air Force. That's possibly her. I'm not very good at reading fancy writing. Tinat. Radio. The Last Appeal to Reason by Adolf Hitler. Speech before the Reichstag on the 19th of July, 1940. Very small print. Portrait of Winnie. Wow. We used to have a really nice picture of Spitfires coming out of clouds. Don't know what happened to that. So these... They used to have all these writing on it, I guess. A little snapshot of all the writing that you can... It's faded over time. <laughs> Cartoons of the day. Wow. I don't want to drop my phone, but it's hard to get up there. Okay, so that's the museum. I'm going to pause this video. If we get to go on the simulator, I'll film again. But otherwise, this will be the end. And, uh, well, bye for now. So this is the inside of the Lancaster. Can't really film it too well because it's too reflective. But um, Gary decided not to go on the simulator. Don't know if you can see too much from the beveled window. This is the back view where the radio is. Cool. Yeah, I decided not to have a go this time round. So I'm going to end off. 
Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.